Yes, my name is Shilgonda. I am going to tell you a story which happened with me in my real life, and I will also tell you a beautiful moral of this story. So the story starts with my friend's uh, journey in the holidays. So our ten days winter break was going on, and uh, we know that we can't go as much as long in ten days. So what my friends uh, did that he was uh, telling his father continuously that father take me to some place I want to go somewhere I want to go somewhere please take me to the place but his father at last his father was said okay you will go after three days of holiday he went to Chikmangalur so the Chikmangalur is a place which is contained with uh, hills trees temples and many beautiful places. So the Chikmangalur is basically 89% filled with forest only. So what happened? His father took him to the forest. So he saw many different things. Afterwards, his, his father take, took to him to the temple and then to a small village. Um, there he saw many beautiful things like handmade crafts, the uh, things, beautiful things made from wood and many things. After that, when he went to the temple, he there saw many gods. And even his father told him the history of the god, and uh, his father also explained that how, how was the god means how was they behaving to the people. And his father gave him a lot of knowledge. I can tell you a lot of knowledge. So he came back, and after coming back, it was over eight days of holidays, and uh, just two days of holidays was left. So he came, and I asked him, "Hi, bro, how are you?" He said, "I'm fine." Did you enjoy your holiday trip? He said, Ah, yes, yes. It was not that much. Like I said, my father to go to the Wonderla, uh, water park, or any other place. So I asked, him, Then where did your father took you? He said, Ah, no, well, just in the forest. He, he took me to the temple and blah blah blah. He said just like. So I said, What did you saw in the forest? He said, What are you asking? This is a silly question. What will you saw so, see in the forest? So I said, you can see many things like trees, plants, ponds, rivers, fishes, animals. He said, obviously, we will see that only, you know. And then I asked him, in temple, what did you see? He said, I did not remember. Just my father took me to the temple. And I don't remember the name of the temple also. And the thing which my father told me, I didn't remember that thing too also. So I asked him. Did you like the forest? He said, "What are you asking, man? Are you gone mad? Who li- who likes to see forest?" I said, "The people which can who are blind, they can sense the things inside the forest." I said him that you can see many different patterns formed by the trees, different animals, the pattern on the body, the footprint of the animal you can see, and in the temple you can know about the god what was their history how they live with the people and i said him a lot of things so he said what are you telling me man i am not interested in these silly things okay these are not going to help me a lot in the in my life so i said is water park going to help you in your life he said no then why did you say your father to took to the water park he said because i like to go water parks i don't like to go forest i said okay When you go to the water park, you see there is a lot of wastage of water. He said, "So what happens? Yeah, after a lot of water is present, we can use it." I said, "No, only the three percentage of fresh water is present on our earth, and we can use it." After that, his mind means he understood what I was telling. So I said, "You should always see the things where your father took you. You should always be happy what you get because in this earth." No one gets the everything they want, but something is better than nothing. So in the end, I will tell you the moral that we can notice. We should always be happy what the God has given us, because many people in this world can't get that everything which we get. So we should always be happy. Thank you.